you know where you are? This is Nollywood Pictures team. Thanks to the gods, we have seen another day. Ubina. Ubina, I'm hungry. Very hungry. For me, I'll say, let us hunt for something to eat. Huh? Mm. My prince, mm. this is no time for hunting. Yeah? I don't even have strength for that. I believe we are close to Omago. Huh? Maybe we can find someone to give us food. Food to eat. Hmm. Hmm. May the gods help us. The gods are already with us. If not, by now our heads would have been separated from our bodies. Hey. You know, I wonder why my father made such, such a declaration. Why? Well, he who throws a stone in a crowd doesn't know who it will hit. Yes. Your father has always been afraid of the people of Omoj. That was the reason he was being pushed here and there. Huh? What if the princess was not kidnapped by her people? I've been thinking along that direction, honestly. I don't think the princess is in Akaba. Of course, she is not in Akaba. Huh? No one would still hold the princess for one more day after those threats from your father, the king. It's not possible. I, I, I can't believe that. Kobina. I just only one. Yes. It's been three days now since the arrest of the kidnappers who kidnapped my daughter. Yet, my daughter has not been released. And we have not had anything from the palace of Akaba. What is going on? Your Highness, I have been waiting patiently. And I guess all the elders have been waiting patiently too. To hear from them. But it dismays me that they have let us down. Oh, Alene. It is time to use force. Your Highness. I suggest that we invite our chief priest before we could use force to invade the people of Akaba. Your Highness, I still maintain that using force will yield negative result. So let us invite the chief priest to know whether the gods will help us solve this problem. My apologies, Your Highness. You have spoken well. I also have a second thought about the use of force. I think we should consult the chief priest. Ichi Obimu. Yes, Your Highness. Ichi Ume. Both of you should go and consult the chief priest and let us know what the gods are saying about this situation. Yes, Your Highness. Your Highness. Why is it that uh, you are afraid of using force? Because we should invade Akaba and free our princess. We are not cowards in homage. We are not. America. Igwe has spoken. Or oh, are you arguing with the king? Eh? Please, leave my friends. Igwe. Oh. 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 
Did you hurt yourself? I'm okay. My mother would be happy with me. I just broke up once. Okay, okay. Uh, who helped you plead with your mother? <laughs> There's no water in the house. I should be needing the water to cook. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> how far is your house from here? Not too far, sister. Okay, okay, it's okay. It's okay. Calm, down, calm down, calm down. See, um, we will help you find a way to fetch the water. Okay. <laughs> what are you please? See, it's getting late. Let's go and arrange for the water first. Mm -hmm. Later, we'll tell you who we are. Princess is very safe and that she will return very, very soon. But that you should not bother how she will return. That's what he said. But uh, this is confusing. Did he tell you where she was kidnapped to or where she is now? Your Highness, uh, the chief priest said uh, that the uh, the gods have fought the battle already. That they will have no point going to war again. That's what he said. Yes, Your Highness. I suggest we have to obey the gods, Your Highness. The gods are wise. Let us wait on the gods. You are welcome. <coughs> So, where do you come from? We are from Akaba. Then what are you doing here in Omago? We are actually on the run. On the run? No. We were wrongly accused of the crime we knew nothing about. Uh, and they planned to chop off our heads. But we escaped. What crime? Uh, we were accused of kidnapping the princess of Omoji and we were placed on a death row. We had to escape. Did you kidnap the princess? Yes. No, we did not. My friend Obina and I, we cannot do such a thing. Actually, I, I fell in love with the princess. Uh, I met her on one of our hunting expeditions. And after that day, we you know, occasionally we see and we, we talk and then one day we got this news that she had been kidnapped and then her friends identified us as the kidnappers i wonder why maybe because they used to see us uh, trying to talk with the princess and so they assumed we had something to do with it unfortunately everybody believed them and we were arrested they were going to kill us believe me they were going to kill us we had no other option than to escape so sad. Anyway, if you are truly innocent, the gods will vindicate you. Meanwhile, you can stay with us. Ah. Yes. <laughs> you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. We don't bother. <laughs> see, see, Ume, yeah. the gods have gone crazy again. Yeah, Aleka. Why do you say that? In a situation like this, 
when everyone is looking for a way to solve this puzzle, the gods chose to remain different. You see, the gods choose to remain different because they are wise. They are not like us. Not in this case. How on earth will the princess return without any effort from our side? Look at all we have done so far, but to no avail. You see, Alika, see, I want you to realize that the ways of the gods are not like the ways of men. I want my princess back. Eh? I wish it is that easy to go to that Akaba and free her. Alika, I can see that you don't value your life. Why not use this precious time you have pondering about princess to concentrate more on your hunting so that when she comes back, you'll be able to have enough bushmeat to win her love. Ume, mm -hmm. sometimes you sound as if you fell from the moon. You don't reason or talk like someone who originates from this earth. This is a woman I love so much, all my life. And she has been kidnapped for weeks now. <laughs> is it what you are telling me not to worry about? Um, Aloka, for now, the gods are in control. I don't trust the gods in this. I don't trust them. I have tried my best to make you see more reasons why you should concentrate on your hunting than pondering about princess. Leave this hunting matter alone. If I don't have meat, I can go to any of the markets and buy meat for her. Eh? Huh. The days are almost too long. I have to be on my way. Uh, Ume, wait, wait. See, put, just put yourself in my shoes. Then you will know how I, 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 I feel ever since the princess got, got missing. Eh? Uh, you know, it's almost too late. You know that. I have to be on my way, please. Uh, uh. You see some of that? Okay. Huh? Today's fishing was so successful. <laughs> yes, Very happy. I thank the gods of our land. The gods are wonderful. Yes. <laughs> I thank the gods. At least we will not take all the fish to the princess. You see, all these things is the handwork of the gods. And I thank the gods. <laughs> Let me pretend as if I did not hear what you just said. So, you are happy about the disappearance of the princess? Not at all. I only say the gods are wise. They just want our family to enjoy fish. That's why they give us bountiful harvest while the princess is not around. You are mad for making such comments. You have never supported my intention of marrying the princess. So I'm not surprised at your comments. Okay, okay. I am not in support of your initial marriage plans. Yes, it is not feasible. And I want you to understand it from my own point of view. Enough! I have had enough. You can keep your point of view. Will you tell me It was me when I was here. I'm sorry. Hmm? Ruben, no, no, no. Calm down. Okay, okay, but no, my mom. If not, just spoil my mood. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You know what? Let's go far more in the game so that I can get my moving my channel. Hmm? So, yeah? Calm down now. I'm sorry. Good morning. Oh, good morning, my prince. How are you? I'm fine. Oh, I see you're, you're busy. Uh, yes, my prince. Uh, call me a mecca. Hmm? But, but you're a prince. Um, yes, I'm a prince, but I'm not a prince of this land. I don't even know if I'll continue being a prince, not with the recent happenings. You are a prince. And you have royal blood flowing in you. You always remain a prince and a royal blood till you die. Well, I agree with you. 
At the same time, I insist you call me a maker. Okay? I wouldn't want people around to know my true identity. Oh, that's true. So, where's your mother? She has gone to the farm. Ah, oh, wow. Hard-working lady. <laughs> uh, uh, I hope we can hunt here. Oh, not now, my prince. People here must know you people as our distant relatives before you can embark on such. You have a point. And when they know you people, nobody can attack you on the ground of being spies. Ah. Wow. I never thought of that. <laughs> Good one. Good one. You are very intelligent. Thank you, my friend. Sorry, Emeka. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so do you mind if I help you? Huh? No, 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 my prince. This is a woman's job. I don't want you to stay in your hands. I can't do it. Just sit there and watch me. Okay. Mm. My friends, why are you looking at me like that? Because you are very beautiful. <laughs> Thank you, my friends. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Okay, okay. Huh? You must be relieved after hearing that the princess will come back. I will not be fully relieved until I see the princess with my eye. Okay, okay. You will just kill yourself for nothing. Okoro, you don't even know the meaning of love. Because if you do, you won't be saying all these things. <laughs> okay, okay, my friend. If I, Okoro, wants to fall in love, I fall in love with my size. Not you building an illusion marriage upstairs. Enough of this. If you don't have any other thing to say, let's be going. Let's go home. Just... Yes, this is the girl I suggest we go for. How can you choose a bronze when gold is available? Because bronze is my size. Going beyond that to get gold, that means I am greedy. You won't even get that bronze. You had better be looking for wood. I think that's where you belong. That's your class. And you will never get the gold. I hope you people are not planning to steal the king's treasure. Yeah? This one you are sharing gold, bronze and wood among yourselves. It's nothing. We are not planning to think king's treasure. How can we succumb to such an arrogant stupidity? Exactly. You know, we can't stoop too low to stay from the palace. You know it's not possible now. Hmm. <laughs> NK baby. Asawa, <clears throat> you look good. You look beautiful today. Thank you, Okoro. This one, you people are talking about bronze, this, this. I hope you guys are not planning it. Oh, not at all, not at all. Mm. Um, I hope you guys will come for the moonlight dance today. No. Why? Not until the princess returns. I knew it. The moonlight dance will not be complete until the princess arrives. Oh, 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 oh. So it's because of the princess you people come to watch the dance? Yes. She makes the entire scenario amazing. <laughs> Don't place your hand where it could not be rich. Thank you. Let's go. Hey! <laughs> she don't even have her. I told you. I'm going to get her. I'm going to get her. I'm She's just being jealous. Now I get it. Inkiru is the bronze you are talking about. She is my damn self. The only girl that knows the key to my heart. In fact, Inkiru is my everything. Hey! When last did you take malaria? Because <laughs> you are not all right. In, in, in our parlor. <laughs> Pete pala, chasia. Okay, okay, if you touch me again, Mbuwagishi. Mbuwagishi. Or the Kishia drug. Go a Kishi, don't you see the Chasia gang here. Pala Chago. In our parlor. Kaisa ba. Ne go ano, ano, ano vian kano. Igwe. What brings you to my palace? Igwe, 
The Prince of Umadu sent us a message to deliver to you. Go ahead, I am listening. Your Highness, he sent his solidarity to you and the entire kingdom. He himself has been going through a lot since the abduction of the princess. He said he should take it easy and don't hesitate to call on him for any assistance if needed. Our prince has been praying for the gods to aid in the release of his bride to be, Your Highness. Now my heart is a little bit at rest. I thought they had forgotten us. Tell the prince that all is well and that it gives me joy to receive this uh, warm solidarity message from him. He should please take it easy on himself and that we are doing everything to make sure uh, that his bride-to-be returns home alive and well. Thank you, Your Highness. My greetings to your king. Igwe! Safe journey. I am so grateful to the gods for keeping us alive through this day. The gods are wise. They led us to this wonderful family that welcomed us with great hospitality. Yes. We owe them a lot. Of course we do. Where is your mother? Uh, to her friend's place. She went to her friend's place? Yes. Okay. I hope she'll be back before night falls. Sure. Uh, the food is almost done. Yeah? Mm. <laughs> I perceive the aroma from here. And I can tell that it is as delicious as always. Abina, <clears throat> I don't know. Maybe when you test it. I don't need to test it, Adana. Hmm? You see, you are one of the best Cooks. <laughs> Obina is right. You cook for you. In fact, your food is the best. <laughs> you don't mean it. <laughs> uh, of course I mean it. Well, if I don't, what about Prince Emeka here? He confirmed it. Huh? <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, please, Uncle, let me stop what you uh, don't bother taking the food inside uh, when you are done, eh? Okay. We are already... <laughs> Your Highness. Hey, Chair. I have been pondering over something. Uh, don't you think it would be a great idea if we support the people of Umoji as they prepare for war against the Akaba people? My very good friend, Oka. I'm glad you have concern to see my friendship with whom watch continues. Yes, Your Highness. I think it will facilitate the, the marriage proposal between your son, the prince, and the princess of Fumoji. Have you thought of the princess getting killed in the process? The situation at hand doesn't need war. I don't see any reason. My friend, Igwe Zronye, should use war to rescue his daughter. Oh, Your Highness, you have just said something here. Yeah, I didn't even think of that. It didn't come to my mind. But if I may ask, Your Highness, what do you suggest we do? Um, I suggest we should send emissaries to alert my friend mm -hmm. the danger, the war we bring. Your Highness, that's a good idea, but I have my doubts. What if Igwe Uzironye does not listen, especially when he has made up his mind for war? My friend always listened to me. I think we should serve as a mediator and not supporting one side. If you knew what happened to Akaba the last time Umoji invaded them, you won't wish it to happen again. You pity the people of Akaba. But 
the, the people of Akaba are responsible for what happened to them. They drew the first blood by kidnapping the princess of Umoji. And they, 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 they have to go in for it. They don't deserve to pay with their lives for the sin of one man. Mm, Your Highness, since they said kidnapper was the prince himself, the heir to the throne, uh, don't you think that if that the whole thing was a plan to deal with the palace of Umoji? Now, how do you look at it? Some messengers from Akaba came here. Has the princess been found? No! My daughter has not been released. Rather, they came here to tell me that the criminals who kidnapped my daughter have escaped. What? Are they sick in the head? Why would they come here to tell you that nonsense? My rot will not be stopped. If I don't see my daughter, I will unleash my anger. Okosisi and his son have planned to ridicule me. Look at, look at the drama that they are playing out. Look at the drama they are exhibiting. How can his son escape without his aiding his son to escape? Okosisi cannot take me for a fool. Okosisi, you cannot take me for a fool. My anger is already unleashed. Uh, anyway. Please, I know this is a critical time hard to deal with, but I, I plead with you. Uh, just take it easy. Don't plead with me anymore. I greet you specifically. No, no, no. Uh, hi. Point, like of, point of correction. Okay. Anytime you call me, don't call me Nani again. Don't call me Nani Aleka. Call me Aleka. Do I look like an elder? <laughs> eh? Nani Aleka. That is how we have been addressing all the elders in this community. Exactly. Mm. Anytime you call me, call me Aleka. Don't add it, Nani. <laughs> eh? What well, Nani? You are old. Is Sit up! Time it, you know. Ah. Anytime you call me, call me Aleka. I'm not old. Do I do things like an uh, old person? Nani Aleka. What do you do? Oh, is it fooling around as if you are hunting? You think we don't know? Eh. <laughs> now, you, you are here to insult me. I didn't mean that. Yeah, I get it. Is it because you, 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 you see that I'm old? That is why you are going to the princess. Come listen. Listen very well. The princess is mine. What? You heard me right. The princess is mine. Stop this your daydreaming. Or should I call it a nightmare? Nayalika, for your information, the princess is mine. You want to go? <laughs> the princess is yours. Okay. We shall see. We shall see. Let us see. We shall see. <laughs> we shall see. <laughs> oh my god. We have not been allowed to do anything since we came here. Yeah? And I don't even know how long this will last. Oh, we know. We do not have a choice. We just have to adhere strictly to the rules given to us here. 
We do not want to throw away the refuge that we found here. That's true. I just wonder what is happening right now in Aqaba. Our home. Have they been attacked? Are they at war? Are there still people alive there? My prince, should we return to fight for our people if we hear of any attack from the people of Umoj? We cannot even do that. Right now we are seen as enemies of both sides. So we just have to stay here. If they end up going to war, there is nothing we can do to stop it. If at the end of the war there are people left, we strategize on how to go back home. Exactly as you said. Let me take my leave now. It's okay. <clears throat> I care, Your Highness. Which is why we sent messengers on a solidarity visit to your palace. Yes, the messengers were here. Okay. Your Highness, I was so worried when I heard about her kidnap. I have not been myself since then. I've been sick and worried. Sorry about that, my son. I know it is not easy to deal with such situation, especially if it is someone you love so much. Even I, the father, it has not been easy for me at all. Yeah. Yeah. Which is why I defied all odd to see that I come visiting you. You've done well, my son. How is your father, my friend? Well, he is battling with arthritis. But he'll be fine. That is old age for you. He used to be very strong in his youth. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know, Your Highness. Um, Your Highness, is there anything being done to see to the return of my wife? We are not sleeping, my son. We are doing everything in our powers. And surely she will return. I hope so. This is terrible. Igwe. Igwe. You're welcome. Thank you, Your Highness. Your prince left here not long ago. Did you meet him on your way? Do you mean Prince Zama was here? Yes. We didn't meet him. We never knew he was coming here. Uh, the young man is going through a lot. He is a, he's a good man. Your Highness, he is. He's a true son of his father, Igwe Konta. The Agone Chamber one of Omoago. So what do I owe this visit? Well, your friend shows a great concern over the recent developments. And he sends his solidarity to you and your people. Igwe Konta has been a great friend of mine. And I believe that uh, the marriage of our children will further cement this very good relationship. <laughs> uh, your Highness, that has been his wish. But as regards to your daughter, he urges you to tread with caution when dealing with the people of Akawa. Yes. As war might bring more tears than joy. Yes, Akawa has beaten more than they can chew. And I am going to unleash my anger on them very soon. Your Highness, Igwe Konta urges you. He suggested that you be more patient. As one might take his daughter-in-law to be away. Tell Okonta 
that I have heard him and that I have been patient enough. Um, sure, we will. But please be more patient and let us know what to be involved if need be. Yes. We are handling it well. Now, I will not hesitate to call on my friend if need be. Yes, Your Highness. Igwe. My regards to him. Thank you. Thank you, Your Highness. Your Highness, I am very worried. It's taking longer time than expected to have our daughter back, as predicted by the gods. I'm also more worried. Highness, what do we do? We just have to wait more. We have waited enough. Your Highness, you have to do something and bring my daughter back home. I beg you, please, do something. And you think your husband is not doing anything? I'm only waiting on the gods and not mere mortals. If not, Akaba would have experienced the worst disaster in their history. Your Highness, if waging a war will bring our daughter back home, I think it's time you wage this war. I will invite the elders for us to look at the next line of action. <sighs> for now, you can just go in and have your breast, please. Your husband will do everything possible to make sure that our daughter returns. Yes, trust me. Ada, hmm? don't you think we have spent enough time for people to know us here? Hmm. Not yet. Hmm? Obina, I know this is all about hunting. But if I may ask, why do both of you like hunting? Remember, it's same hunting that puts you in trouble. Well, hunting has become a major part of our lives. Obina and I, we live and breathe hunting. And we have been idle for too long. Of course we have been idle. We need to get busy. Busy? Mm. But we do go to the farm and to the stream. Is that not enough busy? It is not enough, Adana. It is not enough. You see, hunting gives us fulfillment. We cannot do without hunting. Hey, Obina. My mother will not buy that idea at all. She will not. Please, help us beg her. Beg? My mother. <laughs> Miko Putaban. When I'm not even convinced myself, I should beg my mother. Potan Bikon, Bao. I have an idea. Hmm? Uh, what if you hunt with us? Hey! That is even the worst. My mother will never agree on that. We should just stick on what we do now. Oh, okay, fine. If you insist. I mean, this place is your village. You know it more than we do. We cannot go against your wish. It's for your own good. Well, on my way to the farm, I want to get vegetables. I think we have had enough patience. And patience has not gotten us any result. First, it was the Akaba people pleading with us to have patience. Then, the chief priest. I think it is time we did the needful. Which is? War! War! Now you are talking, my king. May you live long, your highness. Yes. We have to get the warriors ready. We we'll use our last resort to get result. Wow, Igwe, Emmanuel, we need this neighbor. 
I still think we should exercise more patience. Oh. Don't we trust our gods? Eh? Nana, shut up! Shut up! If you, if you don't have any meaningful thing to say, shut up. Yes. What has patience given us in the entire community all this while? Wow. Eh? If not mystery or complications. Alekan, you should ask yourself what will war bring to us, if not regret and the damages. War will bring success, good results, and so on. And so on. Why are you trading words with Alekan? Hey, um, as for me, I think uh, the Igwe has made his mind up that the war still remains the only option. Yes. Even Najobu, do you support war? No. Yes. Yes. No. 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 Yes. No. Yes. War is not good. I say yes. Calm down. Calm down. Calm, Calm down. Calm down, all of you. I don't go back and back with one jar of it. Get our warriors ready. This meeting is over. Today, I declare full and total war against Akaba. Destroy everything destroyable. Kill every human. Kill every animal. Let nothing that lives exist in Akaba again. It should be more. Leas with the chief warrior. Gather all the warriors. And let there be war. Let Akaba be totally dismantled. Yes, Let it be total war and destruction of Akaba. They have dared me. Oh,